Hey guys, welcome to a short side-by-side -side camera comparison between Samsung Galaxy S24 and the iPhone 15. In this video, I have kept all the settings in auto mode and the iPhone 15 was set in the standard shooting mode. When it comes to taking picture, the Galaxy S24 has a ton of shooting modes and when it comes to taking videos, Samsung Galaxy S24 has an 8K 30fps video option and even record 4K at up to 120fps whereas the iPhone tops out at 4K 60fps only. So sit back, relax and do leave a comment on which photo you like the most. On the iPhone, we have a 48 megapixel wide angle lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy S24, we have a 50 megapixel wide angle lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto lens. Both devices have a 12 megapixel front facing autofocus camera. Both phones are having inconsistencies when it comes to white balance representation. In the first image you can see the S24 is having a warmer tone compared to iPhone 15 and in the second image the iPhone 15 takes the warmer photo. In the daytime almost all the images taken from iPhone 15 are having much more detail because of the 24 megapixel default image capture by the iPhone's wide angle lens compared to the 12 megapixel image captured by the S24 wide angle lens. On the other hand, the S24's ultra wide angle lens are a bit sharper and retains more shadow details. The Samsung Galaxy S24 has a dedicated 3x optical zoom lens whereas the iPhone 15 takes a 2x digital image. We are recording a 4K 30fps video from Samsung Galaxy S24 and iPhone 15. We are shooting from the main lens now. We are going to switch to the ultra wide lens. As you can see the transition from lens to lens is better on the iPhone 15 compared to S24. We have a 2x digitally cropped zoom on iPhone 15 and 3x optical zoom on S24. And here is a 4K 30fps stabilization comparison while running. Here is an exposure control test moving from the shadow to the light area and both are doing an excellent job. As you can see, switching between the lens is much smoother and faster in Apple compared to Samsung. The animation is quite smooth, see, you can see the jitteriness in Samsung cameras. At the same time, while recording, you does not have the pause function in Apple. You have to stop the video recording, whereas in Samsung, you can pause and when required, you can resume the recording. Okay. Apple is replicating almost the natural color and Samsung is having a bit of boosted color in their video. from UHD 60 FPS as you can see in the iPhone I can switch between the ultra wide lens and the main lens and there is also a digital 2x zoom lens option in Samsung there is no option to switch between the lenses while you are recording on 4k 60 FPS 
guys we are doing a microphone test from samsung galaxy s24 you can judge yourself how the microphone sound output is hey guys we are doing a microphone test from iphone 15 you can judge yourself how the sound output is we are shooting a 4k 30 fps selfie video on both galaxy s24 and iphone 15 now i am in a shadow area and i'll be walking towards the sunlight now you can see the transition and how the face is exposed when you are directly into the sunlight. On the screen, I am seeing that Samsung is representing the color naturally and iPhone is adding a bit of yellowish tint to my face. And here are some of the portrait shot samples. Here is a comparison of cinematic video from iPhone 15 and portrait video from S24. As you can see, the color is better represented on S24, but the background blur effect is not at all available on the S24 like iPhone 15. I've tried this shot many a times, but I got the same result. Hope to get an update from Samsung for this issue soon. Here are some of the images taken indoor under well lit condition. As you can see that the iPhone 15 in spite of having better detail is crushing the shadow and the detail on the cup have been lost. Even though the images from iPhone 15 looks more vibrant than the S24's images, in actuality the colors were close to what iPhone was showing and S24 images seems washed out in the indoor lighting. And here are the outdoor nighttime samples. Even after cleaning the lens multiple times, I've noticed iPhone 15 taking some hazy images and S24 always, all the time, took sharper and accurate images compared to iPhone 15, except when taking the images using the 3x telephoto camera as it will be switching to the main sensor and cropping the image. And here is a nighttime selfie image sample where S24 again is representing my skin color properly and yellow tint can be seen on iPhone. And here is a nighttime 4K 30fps video taken from both the cameras of iPhone 15 and S24. And as we can see there are some jitteriness in iPhone. 15's video. You can also see the yellow tint on the iPhone 15's video. The S24 was properly exposing the video with correct white balance what my eyes were seeing at that particular time. And that's all for this video guys. I hope you liked this camera comparison between iPhone 15 and S24. Please do like, share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and keep me motivated to provide you with better contents take care guys